My name is Thomas Kelly, Director of Retention, and this is Welcome to Worcester State. Welcome to Worcester State is an online web show where each week we talk about the important topics that are part of a new student's transition to Worcester State. This week I'm very excited to be joined by Brittany Rendy, Intramurals Programs Manager, and Dean Bowen, Assistant Director and Fitness Center Manager. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having us. All right, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about Intramurals, a little bit about the Wellness Center, but before we get started, can you tell everyone at home a little bit about yourselves? I'm Brittany Rendy. I'm the intramural program director here at Worcester State University and run the new intramural program. I'm Dean, as, as TK uh, delightfully introduced me. Uh, I manage all things Wellness Center, staff programs, uh, what's going on outside of uh, our intramural programs. Awesome. So as you both know, we do have some pre-planned questions, so we're going we're gonna to dive into those. Dean, can you tell us about the Wellness Center facility here at Worcester State? Absolutely. So the Wellness Center is our newest addition to campus. Uh, we opened up in fall 2016, uh, and this building houses uh, everything wellness and recreation, recreation related, uh, including our athletic programs, and you even might even take an academic class uh, in the Wellness Center as well. So it's a great place to be. Excellent. Uh, you guys got a juice bar too, right? We do Smoothies, have juice, juice what is it? Good. We've got a smoothie bar, indoor track, group exercise classrooms, a golf simulator, uh, a place to come and watch our home events. We've got a little bit of everything there. It is, it is a beautiful facility. Dean, what sort of recreation and wellness offerings do students have here at Worcester State? So probably one of the biggest things we do offer is a 9,000 square foot fitness center uh, located on two floors. Uh, which is uh, always open for you, uh, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., uh, and then on the weekends, 9 to 5 on Saturday, and 10 to 10 on Sunday. Uh, so outside of the fitness center, we do uh, offer some open recreation opportunities. If you want to come shoot hoops, uh, kick a soccer ball, spike the volleyball, whatever it may be, um, not only do we have the equipment, but we do have the space available for you to do that. Uh, Day-use locker rooms, walking track, uh, the smoothie and juice bar, which I know you're a big fan of, TK. Big fan. Um, and again, you might be taking uh, the group exercise classes, participating in intramurals, uh, which Brittany will talk a little bit more about, or even uh, sitting in an academic class in there, maybe attending a lecture or, or a wellness-related event uh, in the Wellness Center. Awesome. So one of the things you just mentioned uh, were, were group exercise uh, programs and classes. Uh, what sort of offerings are there? How does a student go about signing up for them? So all of our offerings uh, and the way you would register for those offerings are through the Wellness Center portal. Uh, you'd be able to log in with your, your WSU credentials. Uh, it'll know who you are and what your eligibility is. So what you're trying to register for, it, it'll either allow you or not allow you. Um, but group exercise classes like DDP yoga or Zumba, Zumba toning, cycling classes, yoga classes, uh, pink gloves boxing. We have a, a wide variety of classes that really meet the needs of our, our students here. Awesome. Brittany, how many intramural leagues are there and what intramural sports are offered? So we have a variety of different intramural programs offered and the number ranges from year to year and semester to semester. So we offer generally four blocks throughout the year of big leagues, whether it's flag football, uh, indoor soccer, volleyball, basketball um, are some of our bigger offerings. And then we'll do day programs or week long programs um, such as ultimate frisbee or three on three basketball or a cornhole tournament or sports trivia um, so a little something for everybody awesome uh Brittany, when do intramural games usually get played so we are in a little bit of a competition for space with everybody else on campus mm -hmm. so we end up with a bit of a later slot so you can get your homework done earlier after class and then come hang out and let off some steam around 7 p.m., 8 p.m. till about 10 or 11 p.m. at night. Awesome. Uh, when uh, will a student learn about registering for programs and how do they go about doing so? Um, so you can follow our Instagram account mm. at Woo Intermurals. Um, and we can definitely, we'll have all of the registration information up there. We'll be at orientation, letting you know our full schedule. Um, and if you go to the WSU Lancers page, you can access, or the portal, um, you can access the intramural website through there with our whole calendar. Awesome. I know this is a very popular question. So for students looking, looking for work on campus, uh, does the Wellness Center have any employment opportunities? We do. Um, you can work either for a dean um, in the fitness center. Um, he's a great manager. 
Um, or you can come work for me and officiate intramurals. I think it's the coolest job on campus because who doesn't want to like officiate a flag football game? Sure. Um, I'll do it. <laughs> we'd love to have you guest officiate. I'll get, I, I will get tired very, very easily. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Dean will open his up for incoming students in, during orientation and my openings will come out sometime over the summer and we'll start interviewing right when school starts. Awesome. Well, so those have been all of our pre-planned questions, but uh, we do have the question wheel. Uh, so we are going to spend one time for one question that both of you will answer. Uh, Dean, you've done this in a past season, uh, yeah. so I'm going to let Brittany do the honors of spinning Ooh. the wheel. We might get something good. <sighs> Worcester. Oh, uh, this is a great question. All right, uh, so for both of you, uh, what is one thing uh, you believe a student should do uh, while being in the Worcester area? So if it's not attending one of our Worcester State athletic events on campus, then maybe in the near future you could check out the new Woo Sox. Mm. Check out a game. I think that'll be a big attraction here in Worcester. That is a good one. I love baseball, but I'm a big hockey fan, and since we are with the Athletics and Wellness Center, um, the Worcester Railers are right in town too, down at the same, um, in the same area that our team plays at. So. Awesome. All right, so it looks like there's two things you got to check out, the uh, Worcester Railers and uh, in the near future, uh, checking out the Woo Sox. That'll be very exciting events for students to attend. All right, well, those have been all of our questions. Uh, Brittany and Dean, thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name's Thomas Kelly, Director of Retention. This has been Welcome to Worcester State. If you've enjoyed this episode and want to see another, please visit our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Worcester State. Click on the playlist. Uh, this has been Welcome to Worcester State. Thanks for joining me. Happy Wednesday. Signing off. Bye, everybody.